Teaching your dog to wear a muzzle comfortably and without fear is a great idea. Sadly, the first time most dogs experience wearing a muzzle is when they're uncomfortable, frightened or in pain, making an already stressful situation 10 times worse. If we teach our dogs to wear a muzzle comfortably before it becomes necessary, it will mean that putting it on in a stressful situation, such as when receiving veterinary treatment, will be no big deal and one less thing for your dog to be concerned about. Here's how to get started. I'm using a clicker here to train and all I'm doing is introducing a new item, in this case um, the muzzle, and every time Ruben shows that he's interested in the muzzle, um, I'm marking and rewarding it. So um, to begin with I'm using a clicker, I think later on I use a yes marker. So he just had a sniff and I marked it and he's getting his treat. Sniffing again and he's getting his treat. Continue to mark and reward your dog for showing interest in the muzzle until you're sure that they're comfortable being around it. Okay, so now we're moving things on a bit. He's quite happy sniffing at the uh, basket muzzle. He's not frightened of it. So what I'm doing is I'm cupping it in my hand and I'm popping a couple of treats in there and then he's just sticking his nose in to get the treats. I'm not actually marking this. Um, it's fairly obvious to him that he has to put his nose in there um, to get the treats and that it's rewarding to do that. Eventually, he chooses to put his nose in there when there's no treat in there, which is awesome. If your dog seems a little wary of the muzzle, try popping the treats near the top of the muzzle so they don't need to put their nose in quite so far. Then gradually put them further and further down the muzzle. When your dog starts shoving their nose into the muzzle to get to the treats, it's time to move on to the next step. Okay, so we're moving on now. So I'm just presenting the muzzle as I would if I was going to be putting it on. There's no food in it. He's putting his nose in there of his own volition. So here we go, mark and reward. So no food in there, he's just getting marked for doing it by himself. And we're just gonna build up the history of that. So you don't need to keep, um, he doesn't need to keep his nose in there for very long. He just needs to pop his nose in and that's enough for me just now. Practice, practice, practice. Make sure your dog's really confident about putting their nose in the muzzle before moving on. Okay, so now we're moving on to the next stage. So, Ruben pops his nose into the muzzle, put the strap over the top of the head, and then I mark and reward. Now I'm marking um, as soon as I get the strap over the top of his head. I'm not putting, I'm not clipping it shut at this stage. Um, that's gonna be um, onto the next bit. But first of all, we need to get him used to us and um, putting that strap over the top of his head. Don't be tempted to clip the muzzle on at this stage. Doing so may only put you back a step. Every dog is an individual and some dogs will be more confident than others about putting their nose into the muzzle. You may need to work on your muzzle training for a few minutes every day before moving on to the next stage. Muzzle training part two will work on securing the muzzle and building up the time it's worn. If you want your dog to feel good about wearing its muzzle, it's important not to skip ahead. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in muzzle training part two.